Bob Saget, the stand-up comedian and actor who became America's dad with his appearances on the sitcom Full House and the clip compilation show America's Funniest Home Videos in the 1990s, was found dead in his Orlando, Florida, hotel room Sunday, authorities confirmed on social media. The news came as a shock to Saget's colleagues in the world of entertainment. I am broken. I am gutted. I am in complete and utter shock, wrote Saget's Full House co-star John Stamos, I will never ever have another friend like him. I love you so much Bobby, comedian Randy Rainbow, who called Saget the kindest, sweetest soul, said on Twitter that he and Saget were planning a duet together. Longtime friend Gilbert Gottfried posted a smiling selfie of himself and Saget and said that he and the actor had stayed on the phone as usual making each other laugh just days before his death. Fans paid tribute to Saget's warm turn as Danny Tanner on the popular TGIF sitcom Full House, 1987-95 and its Netflix revival, Fuller House, 2016-20. A widower and father of three who invites his brother-in-law, Stamos, and his best friend, Dave Coulier, to move in to help with the child care, Tanner became an Ozzie Nelson or Ward Cleaver for the millennial generation. Saget further solidified his beloved status with 90s kids through his avuncular presence on America's Funniest Home Videos, where he played MC to a reel of viewer-submitted bloopers from 1989 to 1997. His skill for the family sitcom's emotional register went beyond Full House. Kat Dennings, who played Saget's daughter on the short-lived Full House follow-up Raising Dad in 2001 and 2002, wrote on Instagram that his America's Dad moniker wasn't just an act. I was his TV daughter for one season and he was generous, protective, caring and wonderful, she said. He talked about his kids constantly. Others remembered Saget as the foul-mouthed stand-up who delivered perhaps the definitive version of the titular blue joke in the 2005 documentary The Aristocrats. It's brilliant and not for the faint of heart, wrote Jane Lynch. Sounding a similar note, The View co-host Whippy Goldberg remembered both Saget's huge heart and his abject lunacy. Whatever their memories of his work, though, Nearly all singled out Saget as one of the nicest people in a notoriously tough business. Bob Saget was as lovely a human as he was funny, wrote legendary writer-producer Norman Lear. And to my mind, he was hilarious. We were close friends and I could not have loved him more. As another of his TV daughters, Candace Cameron Bure, wrote of Saget, Bob was one of the best human beings I've ever known in my life. 